Good morning, guys. What's going on? Good morning to you. I hope all is well. As you can see, I'm in the work van. Um, I try to stay positive this morning. And uh, also, this video right here I wanted to make real quick for someone in the comments that uh, left me a comment. Um, I feel like it's a lot better to try to, I won't be able to do this for everybody, but I'll try to stay in touch with uh, a lot of people's questions or answers um, that I need to be, that I want to try to provide for you guys. And if you're watching the channel or see somebody commenting that I'm missing, you guys know something about it. Please just be kind and leave a leave a comment down below uh, if you've experienced some of these things. Now, with that being said, um, this video right here is going to be about uh, checking your blood pressure and anxiety together. Um, now, not for everybody, but for me. Um, the battle I went through was when I was going to the doctors. Uh, my anxiety was high. My blood pressure would be high also together. But, uh, sorry, I'm waiting for this light to turn green, guys. But, uh, so anyway, so my blood pressure would be high and my anxiety would be through the roof at the same time. Now, in my doctor's mind, the reason my blood pressure was high was because I had high blood pressure. But it took me years and years to find out that that wasn't the case. The case was that my blood pressure was high because my anxiety was through the roof. So my anxiety was so bad that my blood pressure would stay worked up and high. So they had me on blood pressure medicine for that. Now I don't know if that's gonna be the case for everybody on here, but for me, anytime my anxiety level was high, my blood pressure was high and sometimes super high. So my doctor put me on blood pressure medicine. Uh, and like I said, it took me, personally, it took me finding out myself that I didn't need the blood pressure medicine and I needed to calm my anxiety down. So, and also I wanted to talk to you about uh, beings that you had bad anxiety, if you're one of these people, um, checking your blood pressure a lot I don't want to say it's super bad for you, but for me, it was super bad because what would happen is my anxiety levels would be so high that when I check my blood pressure, uh, it would be even higher. And then, you know, I would go into kind of like this panic mode and I would check it again. And uh, it seemed like it would be even higher. And then I would check it again and again. And then I would just repeat it so many times that I actually didn't have the time to calm myself down uh, and let my blood pressure come down. So, uh, in, in my case, that was a really bad thing to do was to keep that blood pressure monitor on my arm all the time. And I actually used to run around with this thing with me and uh, check it quite a few times a day. Uh, and that's part of anxiety. So, with that being said, for those of you that are doing that, try to keep that thing to a minimum. Uh, unless you just have blood pressure problems. Uh, but yeah, try to keep that thing to where you're not doing as much because if you got anxiety and you're anything like I was, almost every time you check that thing, your anxiety is going to be worked up. And with that being said, when your anxiety is worked up, you're worked up. So your blood pressure is going to be high. So it's just like when you go into a doctor's office and you just you know don't like going in there or maybe you walked in there and had to walk a long ways before you made it into the doctor's office. Usually when you first get to the doctor's office, blood pressure is high so but by the time you leave it it usually go back down so with that being said guys just wanted to throw that out there for someone that wasn't a comments that kind of commented on something like that and hopefully this will help a lot of other others out there that uh, are dealing with the same thing so I learned to put that thing down and just go with how my body feels and most of the time I was always fine uh, and that thing would get me real worked up. So, with that being said, you guys, if you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do it. Please leave your comments down below for me and others. Uh, I would really, really like to hear what you guys have to say about this. Like I said in one of my previous videos, um, I've never really shared this story with a whole lot of people uh, because just nobody really understood it. 
But I would like to share with you guys because I know there's a lot of more people out there in the world than there is in my little city. So with that being said, see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys have a good day.